Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, we uncover, discover, and discard our old ineffective ways to clear the runway for God to land in our hearts. October 21st, thought for the day. Now that we have considered the obligations of real working members of Alcoholics Anonymous, let us examine what the rewards are that have come to us as a result of our new way of living. First, I understand myself more than I ever did before. I have learned what was the matter with me, and I now know a lot of what makes me tick. I will never be alone again. I am just one of many who have the illness of alcoholism and one of many who have learned what to do about it. I am not an odd fish or a square peg in a round hole. I seem to have found my right place in the world. Am I beginning to understand myself? Meditation for the day. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will remain with him and him with me. The knocking of God's Spirit, asking to come into your life, is due to no merit of yours, though it is in response to the longing of your heart. Keep a listening ear, an ear bent to catch the sound of the gentle knocking at the door of your heart by the Spirit of God. Then open the door of your heart and let the God's Spirit come in. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may let God's Spirit come into my heart. I pray that it may fill me with an abiding peace. Alcoholics suffer from a disease in our minds that we don't realize the seriousness of the symptoms or if it is really as out of control as it is. We are delusional, especially at the end. When we finally hit bottom and discover the spiritual solution in Alcoholics Anonymous, we start the rebirth process in the steps. We thought we were terminally unique. Nobody could understand our thinking, so we didn't share anything of ourselves that really mattered. Pushing away or keeping everyone at a distance isolated us from our loved ones. No words can tell of the loneliness and despair I found in the bitter morass of self-pity. Quicksand stretched around me in all directions. I had met my match. I had been overwhelmed. Alcohol was my master. Committing to the AA way of life means we agree to do the steps, and we begin with a sort of faith in our sponsor, because we can't know what we are signing up for when he asks us if we are willing to go to any lengths for sobriety. Simply admitting our powerlessness was a relief to say it out loud and to another person who understands. We felt accepted and understood for the first time. We were happy to know others knew how we felt. We began to feel a part of already. Timidly, we worked the steps with our sponsor, and we uncovered our defects of character after we established a bond with our higher power. We felt like we had backup now for the first time. We didn't have to do it alone, and we were able to fearlessly do our inventory. Not only do we trust our sponsor, but we also have trust and faith in our higher power that no matter what we share about ourselves, we will be free from it living rent-free in our heads. We have our preferences in life. We may be a bit quirky, and we smile when we think about it because our hearts are in the right place now. We've accepted ourselves as we are and try our best to do the same for others as we grow in the program. We seek spiritual progress rather than spiritual perfection. Our inventory is down on paper in black and white. We went deep, leaving nothing out, and we know our fears and character defects. 
When they pop up in sobriety, we again pray for God to remove them and to help us deal with them in the moment. Helping others is our joy. We are able to see ourselves in the newcomer, and we are there to guide them on their journey to freedom. We didn't know what we didn't know. We thought we knew everything there was to know. Now we understand our position in the world. We are grateful servants who know how easy it is to let go and let God run the show. All we have to do is get out of the way and let his sunshine through us. We have the design for living that got us sober and keeps us living the good life of peace, serenity, and service. A community of like-minded, good people has grown up around us. Consider, we uncover, discover, and discard our old ineffective ways to clear the runway for God to land in our hearts. October 21st, thought for the day. Now that we have considered the obligations of real working members of Alcoholics Anonymous, let us examine what the rewards are that have come to us as a result of our new way of living. First, I understand myself more than I ever did before. I have learned what was the matter with me, and I now know a lot of what makes me tick. I will never be alone again. I am just one of many who have the illness of alcoholism and one of many who have learned what to do about it. I am not an odd fish or a square peg in a round hole. I seem to have found my right place in the world. Am I beginning to understand myself? Meditation for the day. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will remain with him and him with me. The knocking of God's Spirit, asking to come into your life, is due to no merit of yours, though it is in response to the longing of your heart. Keep a listening ear, an ear bent to catch the sound of the gentle knocking at the door of your heart by the Spirit of God. Then open the door of your heart and let the God's Spirit come in. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may let God's Spirit come into my heart. I pray that it may fill me with an abiding peace. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.